Hey loves, happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate it. And don't forget to thumbs up if you haven't. And subscribe. Subscribe. Just go ahead and do all that now before you finish watching the vlog. <laughs> Y'all, I'm still in my sister's house if you can't tell. I'm about to pop some cold medicine because I woke up this morning sneezing. I don't know, I was hot last night. I kept coming in and out of the covers because I was hot, then I was cold. I am, um, I did put some deep conditioner and some oil on my hair um to pre poo because my hair felt like wool like i did not i still got crest in my eyes y'all i haven't really got up yet it's about 12 o'clock i've been up for about an hour I actually woke up at my proper bedtime which is 11 o'clock i said next week my goal i'm gonna set my alarm for 10 o'clock because the earlier i get up um the more work i get done earlier and and the better I can do with my eating schedule also. It's just the problem of getting me to sleep at night. But I actually took a melatonin last night. And it actually did alright. It did it did okay. So I went to bed reasonably well. But I'm about to take this um this pill. And my sister has some orange juice in the refrigerator. So I fixed me some. I might not drink it all because it's not a lot of carbs. And I don't really want to start my day off like that knowing that I'm not going to do any exercise and stuff. I'm not sure when I'm going to start back at the gym. I know I am because I need to because I'm paying for it. Um, But right now work has me working. I'm actually supposed to have a meeting today at 3 but I'm trying to get that rescheduled with the client because I'm just, I'm here. I bought all my stuff here to finish my work. Like I want to, I'm glad I'm up early. So I can go get started on my dishes. I haven't washed my dishes yet that I bought here. More specifically, my meal prep containers. So I can put the food that I cooked last night in them. And I have one more photo shoot to finish up. And then I have um uh, another video to do from the vendor event. I videotaped the aerobics class wanted me to videotape them. So I need to put that together. So, and I just want to do all that today. I just want to finish everything today, and then I'll leave here tomorrow. My sister will come back in town tomorrow, and I'll go back home. So, hopefully, this medicine kicks me into overdrive, and I will have my cup of coffee <laughs> real soon. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to get the vlog started for today. I'm going to, of course, when I hop in the shower, I'm going to do my hair, and yeah, Right now, I'm just about to call a client back, like, soon, 12 o'clock here. I was like, dang. <laughs> I am mad at it, but I was not ready to talk. Like, when I first wake up, y'all, yeah, well, I woke up, like, around 11. But, as you can see, I haven't woke up yet. Like, I be sounding like a man. <laughs> my voice be all deep, and then, like, my brain don't function. My brain don't start functioning until, like, after after 12. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, back in y'all favorite spot. I finally made it around here to the kitchen. It's about an hour since I talked to you guys. I was just, like I said, handling work business because I um, needed to return some phone calls. And then I, I typed up a script to send out to potential customers. So I'll, um, I've already decided that I will be doing a website, a separate website for my photography business. So I really just need to get that um, together. I'm thinking I can do it through the place that I post my pictures at, but I need to investigate all that. Long story short, though, I am um, I did use Saturday the the vendor table that I had at the event as an opportunity to start getting email addresses, and I got quite a few. Like I'm very shocked. Um, I got a whole lot of um, great um, feedback. But me asking for e e email addresses or phone numbers to send them my information. Um, and so that's what I did, was doing, was writing up a script. So Kayla, my best friend, is my editor. <laughs> she edits on myself, but she's at work right now. And I don't want to wait too late to get the stuff mail out. So my sister, I emailed it to her while she's in D.C. Um, so she can check that out for me and write that script. Y'all know how you get email email notices like from companies or whatever so eventually once I get the website up and going you can actually subscribe and then those people be the first people that get noticed on sales they probably will get extra deals like I decided to do um, if I met you at the table and you give me your information if you book you'll get a free 8x10 photo so I thought that was a good idea 
we'll see. But now, oh lordy, it's time to tackle my bag of dishes, y'all. <sighs> so I said, let me do this before I hop in the shower because I know this dishwasher takes a long time. So, let's get started. <laughs> into the living room so I can be on this table and sit up and knock out these emails here so this is my list I actually got two pages full of emails and numbers I'm very excited about that I got my template together shout out to my bestie and my sister for helping me out with that so that's what I'm gonna do I'm about to watch YouTube I love when I pull up YouTube on like the big screen I love it I'm watching unique Tershe. I really like her um so that's what I'm watching on YouTube. Where do you watch your YouTube videos at? You watch them on your phone, tablet, computer, or TV? Let me know. Comment down below. So yeah, let me do this. I promise you I'm going to be productive today. I actually am, am being very productive. It just seems like because I'm in one spot. Which is the bad thing about working from home. Because you don't really get up and move a lot. Um, like I said, I do need to start back planning to go to the gym. But anyways, I finished sending out all the emails. And then some people just left their phone numbers. So I sent all those sessions out of my business phone. I have posted um, uh, one of the photo shoots to my business Facebook page. So that's done. I have another one to post. I'll post that tomorrow. Um, what am I about to do? What was I just doing? Oh, this is the reason I pick up the camera. A lot of my head is bad because I was just um, responding back to comments on um, my last vlog and um, I got questions about the q and I will go. What I think I'm going to just do is go live Saturday or Sunday. Not sure which one. If y'all have a preference, comment down below. So, it'll be sometime in the afternoon. Y'all already know that. Sometime in the afternoon, evening, I'll just go live, answer the questions that I have gotten because I got some more. And I did get some other ones too, but they were like kind of off the wall. And I'm not even sure if like, this person is a subscriber or not or they're just, they just saw that I requested questions and it kind of gave me some crazy questions. But some of them I will answer and a few that I got in some other videos. So, I'll make sure that I screenshot all those so I can answer them. So, uh, like I said, I'll probably go live Saturday or Sunday. What's Saturday? Oh, it'll be Sunday. It'll be Sunday for sure because Saturday I have um, I have something Saturday. I have a wedding Saturday. Not a wedding that I'm shooting. I think I have a wedding to go to Saturday. I have something. But anyways, that's why I hop back on the camera. Camera. But what I'm about to do, I need to hop in the shower because I haven't washed today. I did wash my face, you know what I'm saying? Brush, you know. Um, but I had I need to wash, and I'm gonna do that when I get in the shower and rinse this off. But I'm in a mood to work, so I'm about to go get my charger because my laptop's about to die from doing all that and continue watching 
YouTube. I haven't watched YouTube in like a couple of days. So I guess I'm in the mood right now. I don't want to leave it. So, um, and the dishwasher's still going. So I'm going to get my charger and work on this last photo shoot because we need to knock this out today. And uh, yeah, so that's all that's going on. Pose. Jeez. Okay, just wanted to give y'all an update. Yes, I'm still in the same spot. I'm editing pictures. Turn the camera around real quick. Boom. So, another family. That's actually um, uh, the baby's dedication service. But that's just some pictures we took out the, at the park or whatever. But you guys just came back on my, my clients, y'all. I just have the best clients in the world. So, just another. Yesterday, we, you know, had a, I try to give y'all a little motivation. And also some entrepreneur tips, too, because I know a lot of you guys are entrepreneurs or want to be, you know, entrepreneurs own your own business or want to be entrepreneurs. That's what I'm trying to say. But, um, like, it doesn't matter if you have one, two, or three clients like y'all or you have a million. You should all just, like, they're all very just special and pure to you. I posted the family photos, you guys, the one I did that, that said it with a huge family in my head. I've left my SD card. But she was just commenting. Um, I shared them today on my business page. And then I always share from my business page into my personal page. And I write a little sweet message or something. But I was just let, you know, giving them mad kudos because they actually took the time to take these family photos and get everybody together and celebrate their their grandmother's 75th birthday. Like, to give people their flowers, you guys. The purpose of this, give people their flowers while they are alive, Okay. Like, it doesn't literally even have to be flowers. Just text somebody and say, I love you. Thank you for all that you do. You're awesome. I don't want anything. I just wanted to tell you that you're awesome and great. Like, have those moments, have those conversations. Because you never know, you might not get a chance to do it. And I was just writing in the caption, like, that photo shoot, I thought it was going to be so hard. Because I was like, Lord, it's their grandmother. And that was like, exactly a week from the day that we we had my grandma's funeral. And I was like, this funeral is going to be hard. I'm going to be emotional. I hope I can pull this off. But, like, their energy was so awesome. They were so funny. They were so charismatic. Their grandma was so cute. So freaking cute. Like, it was just a great photo shoot. And so I didn't get emotional at all. But in editing the pictures, it was a little rough. Um, Just now I'm just me and I'm just editing and their grandma is yellow, high yellow, just like my grandma and long gray hair like my grandma used to have before the chemo. So it was, but it, it just overall, I still found joy. And that's what I told uh, what I wrote in my message. Like, I just, I just want to give kudos to them for doing that and having that modem, that photo shoot. And she inboxed me and she was like, girl, <laughs> like, my family haven't taken pictures in 10 years, group pictures. She was just saying how um, it just brought them so much closer together, seeing those pictures. And, like, someone even cried. And it was just, and that was just good to hear. And I'm not saying that to promote me as a photographer. I'm saying that so you can take that and apply it. So, whether it's a photo shoot, whether it's a family dinner, like I said, we, matter of fact, we need to go ahead and, um, Maybe by next Sunday, because what was this first Sunday of the month? I can't remember. But like I said, we're going to do the family dinner every fourth Sunday. And I don't care if everybody doesn't show up. Or everybody, can. We just need to make sure we continue to do it. Like, because we have to force ourselves. In this day and age, y'all, I know me. Like, y'all know I work from home. And I have to make an effort to actually go out and see people. And I have been slacking on that session since working for myself. Because... I'm always freaking working. Like, I'm always working. And when I'm not working, like, honestly, I'd be like, damn, I could have been working. And even when I'm, like, visiting people, like, I could be having a good time. But in the back of my mind, I'd be thinking, dang, I could be doing this. And I try to, like, get myself together and not think that way. Because at the end of the day, like, these people, I want to I wanna be around these people. And I want to see them, especially my family and stuff like that. So I try to always just think positive thoughts about that and um but it does it does very much cross my mind that like dang you know somebody's work is not getting done or I'm not doing a new promotion or something or I'm not doing new business because there's so many new ideas and things I want to do but I, I have to um but don't ever 
Don't spend all your time on jobs. Like my mom, my mom provided for us and my mom made sure we had food on the table and clothes on our back. But what she wasn't there for is those moments. Like we didn't have those, we didn't have family vacations. We didn't have, you know, trips to anywhere. A lot of stuff we couldn't afford, but hell, we could have had a picnic in the yard just sitting down. Now we did you know, eat at the dinner table, but we didn't sit down and eat as a family. Having those conversations, those personal moments. That time, like, all she did was work. My mom would work her behind. My mom worked two, three jobs at a time to take care of us, you know, because she had to do it by herself for a long period of time. And, um, and, and, you know, she still has issues these days about how close I am with my fam, with my dad. And, um, it bothers her. And it has affected our relationship the way that we were brought up. It's affected our relationship now because, you know, there, there's, a, I want that loving side and she's just not providing it. And it has very much affected our relationship as adults. Y'all know I don't talk about my mom much. Y'all don't see my mom much. When y'all see my mom is usually, a, you know, a huge thing because I, I don't see my mom. So, um, but it is what it is. But the, I just say this, like, if you're a single mother, if you're working or whatever, like, just make time for the moments that you can't get back. Because at the end of the day, yeah, that all those hours look nice on the check, blah, 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 blah. But, like, those are not going to be those memories that you're going to have when you're older. Okay. So, yeah, let me get off my soapbox <laughs> and get back to work. Sorry, I'm not really showing y'all much. It's a lot of talking, but such is life. Hope you're still enjoying the vlog. All right, I finally moved off the couch so I can get in this kitchen and finish cleaning. Preparing to leave tomorrow so I went ahead and my um, dishes were done washing so I went ahead and washed. Pulled out my containers, put one chop and what broccoli I had left. I got more broccoli at home, I can cook that. So that one has to chop, this is just four wings. I could not finish all those wings that I put on that plate last night. So I just got four here and four here and the rest of the leftover hot wing sauce. So yeah, I'm gonna go tackle these freaking dishes this freaking thing here and yeah